Hey, what's going on there, buddy? My name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In today's example, I want to show you how you can put a custom domain name into Netlify. I'm going to use my own domain name, which is a designer who codes.com, and show you how you can go about adding the custom domain name into a site that you have, hopefully already, on Netlify. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. I do have my temporary site called a designer who codes temp. And if you look at it, there it is. Looks pretty cool. I decided to design a one page site where if I click on, I go down, I go down, I go up, I go up and I go up. There we go. So I want to connect this site because right now it says a designer who codes temp.netlify.com. And I want to make that be a designer who codes.com. Now I have my domain name with GoDaddy. You can say what you want all about GoDaddy. I have nothing against it. I've just been using them for so many years that all my domain names just hang out on GoDaddy's platforms. But I'm gonna be using Netlify, of course, as we see here, in order to host my site. So what I wanna do is, I need to first go in to make sure you're in the right area. In Overview, I wanna click on Domain Settings. Now keep in mind I am logged in in Netlify and this is my site right here. Under domain settings, I wanna go down to custom domains. And in here, I'm gonna add a custom domain. And I'm gonna say, just like it is right here, making sure you have the right spelling, don't misspell it, that I'm gonna say a designer who codes.com. Now you can either add the www or not have the www. It doesn't matter. Just choose one or the other. I'm gonna say no www and verify. Now it's already has an owner. Is that correct? Is this you? Yes, it is me, add the domain. All right, we can up provision Let's Encrypt for your custom domain. That's totally fine. That's gonna be all right. Just take a little deep breath and it's gonna be okay. Let's scroll back up to the top. And up here it says a designer who codes.com check DNS configuration. That's because we haven't pointed the domain manager, at least for GoDaddy, which you can find right here. If you are in GoDaddy, I'm under the domain manager and under my domains, under the designer who codes. Register.com, network solutions, anywhere you have your domain registered, you're gonna look for where it says name servers or DNS for domain name servers. Right now, the name servers are pointing to GoDaddy, which is totally fine because I haven't pointed them anywhere else, but I wanna change these. So what do we change them to? Let's take a look at Netlify and do just that. So if we go back here to Netlify setup, this is with inside a designer who codes, I've set up custom domains. However, I have to point the DNS over to my site in general. I'm gonna go back to my area called Hayden's team, where you're gonna find anywhere you named it. I called my team, my team, you could have it called Captain Crunch, Dan's team, whatever your name of your control panel system is, you'll eventually see it says sites, builds, and domains. In domains, I already have a couple other ones for my clients. I'm gonna say add or register a domain. Yeah, it kinda sounds like you do it twice. It's really just once, but you have to connect to Netlify in general and then point the domain to that specific project that you built. So I'm gonna say, what domain would you like to use? That's easy. A designer who codes.com. I just copied and pasted from my clipboard. Yep, it's already got an owner. Is this you? It is still me. Add domain. So here is where if you have any email set up, when you move the DNS entries or the DNS records, I've always just said entries, maybe it's records now. Anyways, if you decide that you're gonna move everything around, you have to reestablish your email. Now, I'm not gonna go into this in this lecture, but just so you know, and this gets into more getting into email setups, your email is referred to the MX records. And if you even do a Google search, you can find your Gmail settings if you're using G Suite, 
But any company you use to do your emails with, make sure that you know what they are because when you move this, let's come back here. When you move this, you're gonna to wanna to put in all of your records that you had previously. You're moving the entire house. This is not just one small piece. And so if I was working in G Suite, I would go in here and say MX and put in the records for G Suite or any other email company. I'm not using any email for this one, so I'm in the clear, I'm good, I'm gonna continue. Once I have all my additional records set up, I'm gonna say continue. And here it is, update your domain's name servers. So mine are DNS one, I'm gonna copy these into a clipboard. So let me close this little guy. I think I have one, there we go. So if I zoom in here, there we go. I'm just gonna put them in a clipboard and I'll copy the second one. And I'll copy the third one and I'll copy the fourth one. So this requires four entries I have to put in to set up my name servers. Name servers are gonna change right here. DNS management, no, that's a new thing. Thanks, GoDaddy. No, I do not wanna connect my domain that I've built. Well, I have, but I just wanna enter my own domain name servers. As much as I love GoDaddy, they can drive me crazy on occasion. So once again, I'm gonna copy these four into add a name server. There we go. Add a name server. Here we go. So I now have all four. There we go. One, two, three, four, P08, and some net. I'm going to say OK. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna say everything could be in process. It does migrate pretty fast, but what we should see if I refresh this page in a second, it probably hasn't taken any gear yet, I will say done. And what happens is, is within the records, which I did previously, a designer who codes points to that already subdomain called a designer who codes temp Netlify. So if you do it that way, what happens is, is it grabs the records of what you already put previously and adjusts them to a designer who codes. And if we go back and we refresh this page, now you see that name servers are not through GoDaddy's and it tells you that at least within the GoDaddy world, we can't display your DNS information because your name servers aren't managed by us. And that's cool, GoDaddy, nothing against you but I like Netlify better. Name servers, DNS, one, two, three, four, and that's it, you're done. Now becomes the waiting game. So if we go back to our domain and we go back to our sites, now you'll see that this now says a designer who codes.com. Now chances are probably good to great if I test this, oh, there it goes, it actually worked pretty fast. Uh, that worked really fast. Now bear in mind, it will not say secure just yet. SSL takes a little bit longer to set up, usually 24 to 48 hours. So if we go back into our domain settings, you're probably gonna see, at least mine say Netlify DNS, Netlify DNS, like it's, <laughs> that's rapid fire fast. Like usually it takes about an hour, I was gonna tell you to, pause the video and come back in 24 hours, but it worked. Like that's awesome, that's so cool. Notice how that the HTTPS is not ready yet. It's still gonna take a little while longer. The This is when it comes to the SSL certificate going on, where they use Let's Encrypt, which is totally fine, but it does take about 24 to 40 hours for the SSL encryption to take into consideration. So just as an FYI, if you run your site and you're testing it and you're like, whoa, it's not secure. And what could happen depending upon what you're running with, either Safari or Chrome. So if I run this in Chrome, let's see what happens here. Yeah, it'll also say not secure. Sometimes it'll tell you like there's an issue going on. Just be patient because it will take, again, 24 to 40 hours to set up that SSL certificate 
and once you got it, you're good to go. But that was all it took to connect Netlify to my domain name, which happened to be in GoDaddy. <laughs> 